name is Matthew Schultz, and I am here to talk about Art Entente. Art Entente would serve as a conduit between art commissioners and artists. Now, the problem with the current art commission industry is that it is almost entirely underground. Artists, for the most part, do not receive any support and are forced to promote themselves. Art commissioners, on the other hand, there is no standardized way to contact artists. At the same time, whatever transactions they make to the artists are often unprotected. They can lose hundreds of dollars, uh, and there is often little that they can do about it. What Art Entente seeks to do is to be able to promote the artists by hosting a gallery of their artwork, by allowing them to be reviewed by previous art commissioners, as well as being featured by the site. For art commissioners, we would allow a standardized way in order for art, commi art commissioners to contact artists, as well as to, excuse me, to, to commission art in a safe and fair manner, to be able to, uh, to have their transaction protected by the website. Now, this is how it's going to work. We're going to start with the art commissioner. The art commissioner would go through Art Entente to, and contact the artist, browse their gallery, see which one fits their needs, and then would contact the artist about what they are thinking. If the artist accepts, then the art commissioner would pay immediately upfront to Art Entente. We would then hold that money until we receive confirmation that the transaction has been completed. We, once uh, we have that confirmation, we would then hold that money for a 24-hour period to allow the art commissioner to dispute the transaction in case there is some fraud or it was not as desired. We would continue to hold this money until it has been somehow resolved, either through legal means or just through negotiation between these two parties, as artists would be independent our entente claims no legal liability. Now, we have three separate revenue streams. The first revenue stream is that artists will pay a placement fee of $50, up to $50 a month to be placed. However, if they make a commitment of $400 of, of income, they will be listed for free until the next fiscal year. For um, the sale commissions would be paid by, sorry, 10% per commission will be, will be paid to us by the art commissioner on top of what they are paying for the art, that in order to guarantee their transaction, and we will be making other revenue, you know, through the viewing of the galleries, through uh, advertisements from, say, frame manufacturers, lighting companies, things to enhance the art, as well as social me other social media companies. Now, for the revenue, it is low for the first and second years because of aggressive marketing tactics, uh, as well as conservative growth. However, by the third week year, we are expecting to not only make a profit, but also have the infrastructure set up. Now, it is important to note that we would be the only company to orient our, orientate ourselves in this manner. Businesses such as uh, Elance, and uh, Fiverr focus on the business aspect, but do not focus on the art aspect. And for, for $40,000 for 30% of the company, uh, we request that investment in order to set up infrastructure and servers to begin the running of the site. Thank you, and have a good day. All right, judges, what questions? Can you be a little more specific on what your marketing and promotion activities are? And, and at the end of the day, you've got to get the people who are willing to commission art. How does that message get delivered to them? It would be delivered through, uh, through your saying people that would commission you. Yeah. People that uh, we would obviously advertise on various social media websites, attracting people that would be interested in such things, or other from, other from that, um, just simple uh, email. So a quick question for you. So you have two-sided platform. You have the artists, and then you have the commissioners, right? Uh, what's 
without any money or having very little bit of money that you're looking for investment, what side are you going to see first? See? Yeah, what, what side do you think you could attract first your platform? The, art, like the, the artists the themselves. Side. The art, well, from the artists that I have personally interviewed, they are looking for a platform in order to be advertised and to sell more. Any platforms out there do not promote the artists and tend to be a hindrance in which they are forced to go to various um, sites such as PayPal for their transactions. Okay. What, what problem are you solving for the commissioners? For the commissioners? Yeah. We're making it easy and safe to be able to go up to an artist, request what you want, and to guarantee the transaction that the, that the uh, artist will not run off with the money or just simply not fulfill the order. And how do you know that's a problem? because I've interviewed artists and various other people. I myself in high school paid an artist $25 up front to make a picture for me. I never got that picture. So the commissioner could be any individual, so it's not just, you know. Any individual, any, any individual that wants art. Okay. So your model, is it more to be an outlet for the artists? Is it more to be an outlet for the artists? Or are you creating just a, a simple, equivalent to a PayPal for artists and buyers. I mean, because your competitor that you pointed out in your business plan, that's all about the artist. I mean, you've got everything in there, and you know, it has no, there's no rhyme or reason to what's being dis displayed or sold. Um, it's kind of like an Amazon for art. But I do see the value of just creating that little engine to be that, you know, the, 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 the transaction resource. Currently, as it stands, there is no way to browse commissioners. There are hundreds of artists on DeviantArt, a art posting site, but there is literally no way to search for who's commissioning for what prices, etc. So this would allow, allow for the art commissioner to view uh, a one-stop shop for whatever art you want and to promote those artists to say, we are commissioning, this, we will pay, I'm uh, sorry, and if you pay a fee you know, to this site, you are guaranteed to a point. <laughs> Matt, do you have any idea of how large the market is for art commissioning? Um, do this. I mean, obviously, in the fine art community, the cost of one commission could be, you know, really large. But how many people are out there that want to commission art? Have you checked that out, or what do you think? From just on, uh, while well, the industry is for the most part underground, as I said, general information is not readily available. However, from just various uh, inquisition of uh, various uh, artists, they have, a lot, some of the more successful ones have queues going into almost the hundreds. And <clears throat> as it stands, there, for the other ones, there really isn't that much of. Let me there is a queue for very you know, prestigious or well-known artists, and for the most part, fan communities are uh, throwing out hundreds of dollars a simple plushie, plush doll, costs someone $3,000 online to purchase. So there is a market for this. Judge, you said there, okay, one more question. Uh, you don't have any cost built in for legal. I mean, essentially, you're creating an escrow account. You're going to hold client funds. Have you checked into any regulatory issues about holding funds? I like the idea, the concept. They have benefit from the float, but I don't know if you have any legal restrictions. That might be something to look into. From what I you're, you're holding the funds for a potentially extended period of time, mm -hmm. uh, there's a real obligation that you have in some way back to the, the art commissioner, mm -hmm. uh, not necessarily until the product's delivered, but I don't know exactly what the legal restrictions or requirements might be for documentation and so on. Unfortunately, while I was I spent several hours of research, there is very little information about this readily available. I do apologize on that aspect. However, there seems to be very little regulatory action in this scenario. 